Now a little bit about the main figures and statistics to show where Georgian economy is at this point. We have a very interesting exclusive interview with the ICC Secretary General John Denton and before we watch and listen to him about the impact that COVID-19 has had on the business environments both locally here in Georgia and elsewhere around the world, I think it's important to briefly review the context and my focus will be on the indicators of the economic activity of the population since the main blow of the COVID-19 COVID-19 comes with a big wave of unemployment and I will show in a second why that is a very important indicator for Georgia. In the second quarter of 2020, the unemployment rate in Georgia increased by um, 0.9 percentage point compared to the corresponding period of the previous year and equaled 12.3 percent. In the second quarter of 2020, again, economically active population constituted 63.7 uh, percent uh, of the working age population, which which means 15 and older, of course. The economic activity rate compared to the corresponding period of the uh, previous year in uh, urban settlements as well as in rural ones remained the same. The employment rate uh, um, on the country level decreased by half a percentage point. In urban settlements, the employment rate was decreased by 1.3 percentage point, while in rural settlements, it was increased by 0.2 uh, percentage point. But here it is important to mention that in the second quarter of 2020, the share of hired employees was 48.6% um, among employed persons, and this number decreased by 1.6 percentage points compared to the same period of the um, previous year. Now, why are these figures so important? As I mentioned just a few minutes ago, the thing is that according to the official numbers provided to us um, by the, the Revenue Service, only million and um, 110,000 citizens have official salaries. As of 2019, these people have received 12 billion 940 million lari in total. If we dig deeper into these numbers, revenues of the 13% of these employees or more than 100,000 people is very small, amounting to um, uh, 1,200 uh, lari annually or a monthly um, 100 lari, which is about just 30 USD these days. And we can say with a very high probability that a big part of such employees are those who have jobs only seasonally. As for assessing the middle class in Georgia, figures speak for themselves. Only 1.5% of employed have more than 5,000 lari per month or about um, 1,500 USD. The higher the revenue, the groomer the picture. Only, mm, one, um, only uh, 1,300 people in Georgia have more than 8,000 lari per uh, month on average or about 2,500 USD. Currently, like we say, you know, you can mm -hmm. count them on on one hand.